Hello, everyone, and welcome back to round two back nine coverage here at the 2023 Discraft Ledge Stone Open presented by Merrill. We are at Northwoods Black, the wooded course, the hardest course in the country, arguably the hardest course in the world. Big Barry commentary bringing you all the action, and it's Ezra Robinson right now who is holding on to the lead at 16 under par. He's playing well. He's playing really well. So is Proctor, though. And Proctor's just been playing good all year. Yeah. And then Calvin having a sneaky nine as well, getting that bogey, but then wrapping it up with a few birds in a row. He's at three under. It's going to be tight. I mean, this, this tournament, it's just going to be tight. I do think that this layout of Eureka and the black course has the ability for a player to run away yeah if you it's if the you, one of the one places if you, you could like go, go n like nine under out here yeah if you go nine under under you're just separating yourself just in a crazy way yeah but yeah i mean right now we do have a tight event anyone's open to separate themselves right now hole 10 low ceiling par three 400 feet backhand air shot i do think that the black course has gotten uh, that's a great easier. Drive. Oh, I do think short. that. Yeah, they. Well, it, it, need, it had to. Two, it two, had two to. Three strokes easier. Two to three. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I believe that, but I. You think that oh, easy? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I think the the field has gotten two to three strokes better, but I don't necessarily. I they just made some low ceiling ceiling clearings in some areas that have prevented some like. Shots that didn't need no, to be punished. There's a lot of clearings in the fairway, too. A lot okay. of trees gone. Calvin a little bit short with his drive. So hard to get the height right. And Proctor off on the height and the angle of release. That is going to be an early tree kick. Tough par safe coming. Oh, Chris, I liked a lot about that one. But just a little bit pulled. It's going to be a C2 look for Proctor for the par. Slightly elevated basket. And it also, it does trickle away from the pin on the backside. Chris putting his whole body into that one. And there oh, you can, that's lovely. There you can kind of see that little slope. It's not much, but it's enough that if you do get past this pin, it does run away. Super aggressive bid from Ezra. And there you go. It's going to be a long Par putt coming up. What a putt. Nice, nicely done for Calvin. What do you think about Ezra's run, though, from back edge of C2 to run that? I like it. I like it. it I mean, he's putting good. If you feel like you're going to make it, make it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, you're not going to beat that guy right there laying those up, I don't think. Just for what it does for your confidence and stuff. This You're guy just... is unblemished from C2, it seems. I... He's a good putter. He's made four or five from that range this round. And Chris over the rim and in for his par. And Ezra has an obstructed look. Oh, goodness. Look at this little cubby hole. Oh, wow. That was Isaac-like in its speed out of the hand. I mean, that thing didn't take much time to line it up, see the gap, pitch it through, nailed it. That's why you run those, I guess. Those Robinson brothers are something special. And I got to apologize to the uh, the Earhart's and the Eula Berries of the world, the Isaac, Ro the the Robinson brothers, the Ezra and Isaac pair. I mean, that's it's the best pair of brothers in the world for disc golf. Sorry, Pete. Hole 11, par 3, 380. Got a silent commentator next to me here. Sorry, but really tough par 3. Forehand flip up, backhand turnover. Just avoid these trees that are in the middle on the left side of this fairway. This is an outstanding birdie to pick up. 3.13 average. I mean, they're literally like 50 points higher rated than any other brother pairing. And it's not like this is new news. I'm saying of all time, though. I'm not just saying right all now. All time? 
Yeah, you're on crack. Maybe the Listman brothers back in the days when they were doing their things in the 90s. Big bro just took seventh at the world's, the master's world's, man. You're sleeping on him. All right. Listen in the comments if you think you and your brother can take on <laughs> Isaac and Ezra. <laughs> Great drive there. Backhand turnover. Such a specific line to hit with this late turnover. We've seen a lot of Proctor's forehand this season. He's really worked a lot on that. That's an inside early release. And that is Cambogia. That is a really, yeah. really difficult place to be. Sexton Brothers. Those guys are good. Colin at his best is a great disc golfer. Mm. <laughs> Even better than Ezra's is Chris Dickerson's backhand drive. Yeah, and that's just, that's about as much as you can do. It is the kiss of death on 11 to be early, right? He's going to have to make another putt. Yeah, well, fortunately, he's been comfortable at that range, but not the approach James was looking for. Calvin, an opportunity to... Make one from deep heading into difficult 12 coming up. But now he's got to make a long putt for the par. Meanwhile, over in Birdiesboro, we've got Ezra Robinson. And that is going to be out there in Parsylvania. Mm. Saving it. It's a pretty looking putt. It's the best I've seen him putt on coverage. And, I and mean, and he usually he, putts well on coverage. He's an coverage. incredible putter. Yeah. There it is. Beautiful. Only 29 players able to get the birdie in 11. One fifth of the field. Calvin's come alive, and it is a uh -huh. uh, nice little streak he's on. Yeah, no bogeys, 500 in the last nine. Good save once again. These guys are putting well, all of them. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, strokes gained putting. Who do you think is in first place? James Proctor. Strokes gained putting. The guy is not dropping putts right now. Well, he's dropping them, but in the good way. He's not missing them. Paul, give you the honors, my man. Go for it. Hole 12, par 5, 1,050 feet. Left to right burner into the landing zone over the ditch here's another landing zone oh guess what then we go up the hill to the flat part landing zone <laughs> for your approach yeah. to get your par and there's some this. woods on the right that's and a landing well, zone there's a woods on the left as well, well. It's all woods so it's like the tightest hole opens up a little for your second if you throw a good one or your fifth <laughs> I, I feel like there could be a novel written every Whole, every person that plays hole 12, there could be a whole book written about the experience they, they feel. And yeah. I, I can't even believe the 1,050. It's, it's, it, it feels like it's a 1,400-foot hole. It really does. This is what it should look like when you throw good shots. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Right in the middle of the road. Paul, what do you think about the road here on the fairway? Glad it doesn't have gravel. <laughs> That would be a bummer. Land right there on the hardest hole in the world and then <laughs> just have pebbles underneath your feet. A nice drive for Ezra. It's going to be a little obstructed maybe with the swing. Take it, though. And it, yeah. It's er yep. Early on this hole is the seven. kiss of death. Yep, instant seven. Anything right or left. This is fine. Ah, it's seven. I mean, I hate to say it, but I mean, it becomes like, do I take seven now? 
You don't yeah, take you five. Can't kick, you, you can't kick down there. There's no fives from there, so he's looking at best case and hey, you can five. You can well, five from there, there he can get to the top of the hill. It's possible. It's going to take a monumental effort. I do remember old video of Steve Brinser hitting first available, kicking left, and then taking five. And it's something, if that video surfaces, you should watch it because it's pretty remarkable. Pretty, pretty. Chris across the ditch in two. And I like where he is because he's short of the hillside. Sit, it, don't cut. I think it's set. If you're short enough of the hillside, your angle opens up that low ceiling because the gap between that high hill and the low ceiling is so minimal. The farther back from the hill you, you are, the more it's approachable. And that's just phenomenal. How many people have you seen get to the top top? Very few. Um, we played with one yesterday. Somebody was at the top yesterday. No, they never made it. They were right where Calvin was. Okay, so the top top, very, very, very few Because from there, you don't have a run up. From top top, I feel like it's so much easier. Oh, and James needed to get to the top top to have a shot. But now that it's kicked left, I think that he can kiss the five chances goodbye. Yep. Chris is just playing this smart, just trying to stay in the middle. And look at that. Look at that. After all you're dealing with, look at how tightly, how tight those trees are to one another. There's just no scramble opportunities if you're off the fairway. See, and I don't. That's a great shot. Unless you're going to get to the top of the hill, I think you should land short so that you can get more distance. Yep. Because if you're right on that hill, you're just throwing straight up. There's nothing you can really do. And Proctor having to just pitch to the middle like that play. If you try to scramble from there, hit another tree, stay off the fairway, that's where you get the double bogeys. Not going to hold, is it? It's, hey, shopping C1 or just outside for oh. the birdie for Calvin. That's a good kick. Oh, boy. That's painful. Look at Chris's first two shots. Perfect. Essentially perfect. Third shot slightly off the mark, and the next thing you know, he's looking at bogey or double bogey. Yep. Meanwhile, Calvin is up there essentially playing this whole flawless that's a good scramble six for Proctor. I seem to remember Chris throwing one in on this hole. Yes, he did. Time. He did. He threw it in for a four from about 130 to 150 feet. That's what he needs here. That's going to come up left off the top. And that's a double. Just that's how, like that's that. how fast it happens. Meanwhile, Calvin for the elusive birdie. And elusive it is off the right air ball. Now he's got to make this to save par. Ooh. Ooh, just barely over. Two. Two players with the quote unquote birdie. Nicholas Robertson, Ricky Wysocki. Two players. Mm. Good birds. And that's that's twice as many as you normally see. And it's because it's actually an eagle. So congratulations on your eagles, gentlemen. There's no way I'll ever be a commentator at this course and not mention that hole 12 is a par six. Nate Heinold, you've heard me a million times. I'll never stop. My only pushback is that it's a par five. <laughs> That's it. It's the only pushback I'll have on that. On the surface, Ledgestone is one of disc golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the disc golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your disc golf wardrobe, choose Ledgestone. That's a good point you raised there, Paul. 
-hmm. but you're wrong. Hole 13, par four, 653 feet. Such a difficult tee shot, demanding tight tee. You have to get way left. If you're not left enough, there's really no angle to get around the corner and over the pond on your way to the pin on your second shot. High premium on an accurate tee shot. This has got to be like top five hardest, right? Fourth. Fourth, okay. So Might we as well call it a par five. Hardest. <laughs> fourth hardest, second hardest holes, all in a row, all on the hardest hole, or hardest course in the country. Yep. This stretch of three holes is absolutely daunting. And Ezra's drive did look good, just not able to beat that last grove of trees. Not sure what he's going to have, but happy to get through the gap. And that didn't look like a bad tee shot. Just early. You want to push it over that stump, going straight, and mm -hmm. then have it come left. You don't want it hysering at all. Like, see how that's hysering a little bit? I think that's going to be left, too. Mm -hmm. yep. Not too terribly difficult to save par. Uh, Proctor in a little bit more of a predicament here in the woods, but that gap seemed pretty big for that Anheuser it's angle. It's got to go. It's going to be tricky from, yeah. the, from the right side. A little bit tricky. Chris is trying to find his way in the middle, and he has done so well. Ezra also having to lay up. Let's see what Calvin is able to manufacture from this great drive. Oh, that's got to get up. Yeah, okay, it's over, but needed that one to hyzer a bit more. Chris is trying to drive this into the hillside. Beauty. Nice touch. Can't get too aggressive on this green if you're not close. There is a big mound on the backside, big drop off behind. I'm sure Calvin will get aggressive. He doesn't lay up putts, but can get scary. Like, see, the subtleties of the course that they changed, like, it used to be just the thickest rough ever on the right. And now yeah, you Calvin. can miss to the right and have some sort of look. Remember, it was all bushes? The, that, the, the low brush clearing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. There's, a, there's a... I just made a miss. No, he made it. Oh, okay. He, but he did look back. He heard you yeah, cough, and he looked sorry. back at you like, sorry, dude... Proctor. My Chris will get that one later. Hand up my Let's try it a second. There we go. But there's a lot of that. There's a lot of like rough cleared. Yeah. Well, the, I think the first time <laughs> Calvin tried also <laughs> having a little bit of difficulty of the disc retrieval here on 13. But uh, it, the stuff that we were dealing with the first year that we were playing this new layout at Northwoods Black was all the stuff that we were like, this will eventually be cleared out. It just hasn't had time to yet. And I'm glad they eventually have gotten around to it because the course is so challenging just in the way it's designed that you don't need to go fairway to deep rough. I like having the intermediate rough transition. Mm -hmm. And I think that when you miss that, it's just so overly punitive to a drive that might not have even been off by anything at all, just a really tiny bad kick or anyways. I think the course is suited for great competition as we're seeing yeah. Super challenging. Even this hole cleared out immensely on the right and the left of the tee. And it still averages five, six, six. Ooh. And Calvin would love a 5.66 right now because it's probably just a six. This looks really good if it can move left. It does not. And the spotter was pretty courageous. He just laughed at it. <laughs> Good try, disc. I break the disc if it hits me. Proctor, no ground play, really. 
No one in position yet. See if Chris can get this drive right. I'm going to say Chris is going to get the drive right. Looks to be that way. Maybe getting go, through. Go. Dead. Not enough distance. Very close. If that just barely gets past that little cedar or cypress or whatever, he's going to be in great spot. He might have some sort of sidearm to get a little distance and then have 400 in. And really the only thing that Calvin can do is pitch up and he does not get to the corner. That is making life very difficult early on 14. Oh, no. And Proctor goes long? Again, not making things easy on themselves. See if Ezra can get the short layup right. Yeah. It's okay. And Chris is looking skyward with Thummer. Not a bad play if you're short of the corner. There is some over-the-top opportunities. Very good. And just getting down the fairway. I mean, it's like you can put yourself in the middle, but the middle still feels like you're in the deep woods. So just getting distance is such a premium. <laughs> okay, that's nuts. Get real. Calvin had just put himself back in par contention. That shot is next level class. How did he manufacture that? I don't know. I don't know if we'll I, ever know. I, that was... He was crouching to throw that. Wow. Just gutted. Right down the middle. And is that a look for birdie? I don't see any markers. Yeah, maybe maybe deep C2, maybe just outside C2. Chris has a has a chance. That didn't flip up though. Yeah. Still a chance. Yep. And looks like Proctor will be dropping at least one shot here. Tough stretch of holes the last four for James. 11, oh, no. 12, 13, 14 will get you. Oh, no. And there's no look from there. The woods are so thick. Okay, so deeper than I thought. But either way, easy layup for the par. Well, he almost had a look. Like, hole 14 is... The rough is the fairway. And the deep rough is what would normally be the rough on other oh. holes. <laughs> Chris, the rare top. Cue the, the, the first time fan out here. Does that count? I think it should. If a wedgie counts, top should count. That's what I think. That's one commentator's opinion. Yeah, but why does a wedgie count? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I it, that shouldn't count either. If landing on the top doesn't count, why can we just wedge it into the basket? All the holes should be in the ground. We should just slide them oh to the gosh. pin. Oh, gosh. I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> I do like the little basket in the ground occasionally on like a... like it's a fun, yeah. Yeah, on like a fun course. Oh, Chris breaking the equipment there as the plastic separates from the number plate. Cole Radolin getting his name on the leaderboard. Six under, outclassing the rest of the leaderboard by two shots right now. Out there putting up a really solid round here. Hole 14. What... What else could you ask for? I mean, left side OB, but just beautiful green grass fairway. This hole looks like it was made in a video game. Par four, 650 feet. Got to make it move slightly left to right to avoid that OB. This is just, I think this goes on the Dream 18. I mean, it's just a good, honest, solid par four. Maybe if my Dream 18, if there's like three courses, this yeah, makes Yeah, if it I had like lame holes. 
That'd be cool. You are so scared. You, this is not a pooper scooper, <laughs> no, dude. No, this is a This is a one. super duper, not a pooper scooper. A <laughs> super duper. It is. This is a, a very good par four. Dream 18, though? I like the whole lot. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. It, it's pretty. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Sets up well for your sidearm, too. It can. Chris a little bit overturned. Kicks left. I think forehand flex is the play for him coming up to try to get a birdie. Proctor has ditched the hat. And the, and the hat was just holding you back, dude. It was holding you back. That's an incredible drive. Missed that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Double kick. Plinko in the circle. Probably saved him from the OB over there. OB does come in quick on that left side. Yeah. There's just, there's just something so beautiful about a fairway that's this tight with woods and just green grass the whole way. It's one of my favorite elements in a disc golf course. Proctor trying to just get it back with two strokes, trying to throw in the eagle. Going to have a birdie putt coming. What a drive from Calvin. Whoa. Look at that. A little sneaky guy up the gut. I thought he was going wide. As a little bit low, don't you do that. Okay. That's like the first putt we've seen miss from anybody in the circle, I think. Uh, yeah, he was outside the circle. He was? Yes. Okay. Is this inside? Oh, it might be. B and Chris unable to get that one to stay. Ezra's par putts have been true today, and he continues just a one blemish on hole three and decent number of birdies and a bunch of pars. Getting through 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all pars is gaining so many strokes in the field. And Calvin's going to get the birdie. Calvin is shredding. And a par for Chris. There's some courses we play where if you're four back, you feel like, man, I'm, I'm running out of time. Four back, you could be tied in two holes. Uh, maybe One not... Hole. Not not with 16, 17, 18 coming up, but at this course, you know that we have another round out here for round three, and it's just anything can happen out here. But 16, par three, this is an ace run central. This is the must get birdie late in the round. 2.71 average, straight 330. Calvin's got that turned over, hitting early tree. Long look for birdie coming uphill. Is it going to flip? Flip, yes. Enough, maybe. <sighs> that gets that Obstructed cut, putt. Cut into the... Probably back in the, in the mud. yeah, in the muddy, muddy foot coming. And that's certainly mud foot. Shout out to the spicy shot of the day shirts I saw in the background, the halal guys. Is, <laughs> I met those guys yesterday and one of them just decided to make those shirts. It's, has, I don't think they have any affiliation with the halal guys. Just thought it would be funny to do. I appreciate that sense of humor. Have you ever had their food? I've never seen one in person. I, I'm, I will definitely support their business as soon as I see them. It's good. You've had it? Yeah. You're either in like East Coast of New it, York kind of? I had it in Des Moines. What? Yeah. They had a whole oh, I miss, I, I missed Des Moines. out. I would, have, I would have joined in on that party. Proctor, no look, having to lay up. Chris Dickerson for the birdie, up and in. 
lots of fun little jog around the wooden posts. See if Calvin can join him. Yes, he can. Calvin surprisingly putting together a good round together. You just wouldn't think that a player with his lack of experience in this stage could step up to the plate. And a lot of pars in a row for Mr. Ezra. That's not not a bad thing. A bad thing out here. But you would certainly like to see some green here on 16, 17 combined. You'd like to get one, if not both. It's just been so long since you've played a hole where you stepped up to the tee and you, you said to yourself, oh, yeah, I can birdie this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just so many holes where it's just brutal, brutal, brutal. Hole 17, par three, 320 feet. There is OB all the way down the left side and long here. And then also right side of that lattice fence. There is OB. Other than that, you just have to pick your gap. Left side turnover or right side hyzer flip up. Calvin's throwing it under the bridge. It's going to be in bounds, but I don't know what kind of troll toll he's going to have to pay to get a look for birdie. <laughs> I like that. This looks like a dart. Needs to get down. There is OB left. Yeah, he's going to find safety. Mm. Just barely. I like the movement. Same. It pushes long. Don't say that one no bit. Okay, just hanging on. I'm surprised I had so much action. Didn't think that was going to find that OB line or anywhere close to it. This is a putter that's going to hold. Yeah, I'm just going to dig into the front side. That's just it's either in the bullseye or just short of it but that hillside is that's exactly what you're looking to do keep it going yeah you can Rocker what a putter can't miss. I, the, the only times we've seen him miss 14 he didn't have a look mm -hmm. 16 he didn't have a look other than that if he's in c2 that disc is going in the basket Ooh. i'm saying for this guy right now paid the toll Maybe it was a riddle. Oh, wow, Chris. Chris. Can't be doing that. That's two in the circle, last three holes. Could be three in a row. <laughs> he hasn't had a birdie in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a birdie celebration. Man, I, I got a birdie on 16 yesterday, and I remember looking at my watch and saying, it has officially been two and a half hours since my last birdie. <laughs> it's just like, you could play a full round of disc golf or just 12 holes here at Northwoods. They'd both take two and a half hours. This is a near four and a half hour round of disc golf. Yeah. That's just something you don't see here on coverage. And we were giving you the, the quick cut, but out here, these guys are out there for four to five hours on this course. Finally, we've reached 18, par four, 703 feet, insanely difficult, challenging uh, final hole, third most difficult hole on the course, got to get the drive left, backhand flip up. And then from there, it's a very difficult uphill climb to that second shelf. I like this play, a baby flip up to the bottom of the hill. That gives is, you a straight shot up there and, and a chance. That's great. I think a lot of people try to push it close to the hill and it gets you in trouble. Well, but, this is just like 12 in a way. You don't want to be close to the hill. The closer you are to the hill, the more your angle is just blocked off. Proctor is going to have to get back into fight mode. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so that is ideal, I think, if it slows down. Yeah, oh boy. Couldn't walk up the fairway and place it in a better spot. Hurry. Whoa, okay. whoa. <laughs> it was thrown perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> I 
I think Proctor looks like a bad guy without his hat on. A bad guy? Yeah. Like the the new age Posse Koivu? Maybe. Posse Koivu, our, our Finnish buddy, we always called him the, the super villain, even though he's the nicest guy in the world. He just had that blonde hair look like a 90s super villain. Calvin pulls it. That's going to be tough to get up and down for par, honestly. Is that, that doesn't have yeah. to take. Oh, got the skip. Whoa, Proctor. And, I mean, go ahead and count it. He had not <laughs> missed one yet. What a shot to get up there. He's got a good, good chance now to save the par. Chris, meanwhile, looking to, yeah, that's a nice line. It's going to come up short. In C2, look for the birdie. I like that. I love that. Keep going. Yeah, just getting up there to see one edge. Let's see what Calvin has left. Oh, I don't like it. He's got to challenge all these trees on the right side. Wow, gets through them all. What a shot. That was sick. You do not want to be down there throwing your third shot. And Chris, Uncle Putt doesn't go in. guy's an animal man he looks like a guy from spider-man <laughs> who, wore, who wore those type of glasses yeah 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 dr octopus yes dr octopus two under round for proctor making what seven putts from c2 it seems like it i mean he his putter didn't hit the ground when he had, oh, when he had a wide when he had a look, look yeah. it was in what a putting performance ezra finishing with the birdie what a round six under that's really good. Came into the round in first place, and six under is a great score. Oh, and Calvin unable to finish the great approach. He's going to drop a shot here. Mm. 14 under is a great score to have through two rounds. But Chris is going to be short of the pace set. By a few players tied up at the top at 18. Oh, actually, are they in the lead? I don't believe they are. That belongs to Cole Redon. Nine under, folks. Three clear of the next best round, I believe. Unbelievable. I mean, nine unders. Dumb. That is pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, six under was the next best round on the course. Cole Radolin. I just don't see that anymore. <sighs> no, three clear is, that's like, that's special. Yeah. That's a special, special round. Nine under out here, especially when we're used to seeing Cole Radolin shred it on the big open courses because he's got the big long arm, but keeping it controlled and in the woods, avoiding the disaster, and I mean, just flourishing with a huge round. Ezra, only one bogey back on hole three. Got through the whole back nine yeah. bogey free. That, I mean, that deserves some sort of recognition because that is a rare feat as well. No bogey free rounds in round two here at Northwoods Black. I'd be surprised to see if a bogey free round ever. Has there ever been? I'm sure there's been a couple, but the, mm. they weren't like a super low round. Even the best rounds we see always have a bogey sprinkled in there somewhere. Sure. Paul, we're halfway through the event. Two more rounds to play. Looks like there might be some rain in the forecast for round three, so we'll see how that affects the course heading into the second half of this event here at the 2023 Discraft Ledgestone Open presented by Merrill. See you guys tomorrow for Moving Day Saturday. <laughs>